Hello, my name is Ken Getz. I'm a senior consultant with MCW Technologies. In this presentation, you'll learn to choose output devices at runtime in Access 2007. We'll focus on choosing for a given report which printer you'd like to print the report on, making that decision using a form with some drop-down lists so users can select without displaying a Windows dialog box to which printer they'd like to print a report. I've loaded the sample database for this demonstration, select output device.actdb, and I've loaded the sample form. You can see here that our project includes three reports, and for the purposes of this demonstration, two of the reports are set up to print to the default printer, and one is set up to print to a specific printer. Here you can even see that on the form. I can select from any of the existing reports, and it will show here that it's set to print to the default printer or not. You can see for report three, it isn't. It's set to go to this specific printer, and I can select for any report the destination. First, you'll notice that I see in this combo box a list of all of my installed printers. I have a bunch of printers installed for testing, but I can print to any one of those. The same thing happens for a report that's set up to print to the default printer. Right now, I can choose to print to the current destination or print to a chosen destination. If I print to current destination, that just prints the report. If I print to chosen destination, that changes the printer specified for the report and prints to that location. To test this out, let's try printing a sample report to a printer capture driver. And if I print to that chosen destination now, it will print to the selected printer, which captures it on screen. Let me go get that and bring it on screen. And you can see we have printed the report to my selected output device. In any case, we can select at runtime which output device we want to print to. For example, what if you want to print to a specific fax printer? So you can fax out this report. You could do that by allowing the user to select from a drop-down list or a list box or even just in code, make the choice. Well, then we need to see how this is all working. Let me put this form away and bring up the code for this project. Here we have our three reports and there's no code in any of them, but in our form, we do have some code. The first question is, how do we get that list of available output devices? Well, you'll find in this form, a get printer list method. And get printer list allows you to supply a control, for example, a list box or a combo box. This code will loop through all of the printers in the printers collection and call the add item method of that control. You better pass a list box or a combo box or this code will fail, of course. Adding the device name of the printer to that control. That fills in the list. But how do you get the list to have specified the default printer? That's easy. The application object in Access has a printer property. That printer property has a device name property. And unless you've changed that printer so that it's no longer the default, you can retrieve that property and that will be the default printer for Access. So here, I've set the value of that control, the list box or the combo box, to have selected, when it first starts up, the default Windows printer. Let's see that in action. If I go back here, open the form, you'll see that this combo box has been filled in, and right now, its current value is my default printer for Windows, which Access assumed when it started up, which is my Adobe PDF printer. So now how do we, when we select to print to the chosen destination for a given report, select a different printer and print to that printer instead? Let's go back and look at the code again. On my form, I have code that's going to get for me when I click that button that allows me to tell the report where to print itself. We get the report name from the list of reports. You might find it interesting to see how we fill that list of reports, but that's a different topic altogether. The first thing we need to do is open the report in preview mode, but hidden, so we can't see it. We have to do that because we need to change the report's printer, and then we open it again in normal mode, which sends it out to that printer. How do we do that? 
Once it's open in preview mode but hidden, we set the printer property of the report we've specified to be application.printers and then we take the index from the destination combo box where you've selected which printer you want to print to. The index is an index into Access's list of printers. So we select that specific printer and tell the report's printer property to be that selected printer. Now, with the report open, we open it again in normal mode. This causes it to print. Now, I will mention a trick because that's all there is to this demonstration. Those three lines of code do the work. But there is one trick you should know. Here on our form, you can tell if a printer has been selected to print to the default printer. How can we know that? Let's look at the code again. You can see that there is a use default printer property of the report. So you can use this property to determine if the report has been formatted to use the default printer. Usually reports are, but not always. Some reports will have been saved with a specific printer so that the report will always print to that specific printer. Now, if the report has been set up to use the default printer, you don't have to do this trick where you open the report, change its printer, and then open it again. You could instead change the application.printer to be one of these printers. That is, change what Access thinks is the default printer, and then just open the report. You save yourself a line of code, but it won't work unless the report has been formatted to use the default printer. Since you can't guarantee that for all reports, I've used the more complicated solution in this example, which is to open the report hidden, change the report's printer, and then open the report again in normal mode to print it to that new printer. It's up to you which technique you use. But this one you've seen here works for any report. The other technique only works if the report has been formatted to use Access's default printer. So I don't think it's a very safe way to solve the problem. Given any report, you can use these three lines of code to print the report to any selected printer.